What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Colchester United crew mode, episode number four. The first thing I'm going to do this episode is waste no time and quick sim this FA Cup match because I can care less how we do. We end up getting blown out 4-0, but it's actually a good thing because I don't have to focus on this no more. And for the first game, we're going to run out with a team like this. Or the usual team at this point, except Boogie is coming in for Inverenese. So he can have his debut because he just looks pretty decent for a 49 overall striker. I mean, I don't expect him to be a world beater by any chance, but if he can just like support Val again and get him more chances, then he, that'll be really good by me. But yeah, let's just get into that first game of the episode now. All right, so here we are for the first match of the episode against Grimsby Town. Oh, Gallo. No, Gallo. Oh, and they score right away. That is abysmal defending from Gallo because he's not that slow. He should not be getting beat like that. Wow. And they cut it back to Rose, who slots it in beautifully. And we're down by two within ten. No, what? Okay, what is that? Great save, Lozano. But our defense is getting torn apart. Boogie. Oh, playing Balligan. Balligan. One on one with the keeper. That's a big touch. Doesn't matter, though. Balligan slots it into the back of the net. And we're only down by one now. I know you can't really defend, but that's inexcusable. That's saved, I guess. Good stuff, Lozano. That's beautiful. Just played him back into a corner. Boogie. You were Kose. Oh, just hit it harder. Played that. Oh, Balligan. Beautiful. And Balligan caps off the comeback with a second goal of the day for himself. And we are right back in this. Oh. The Sosa. Oh, no. I try to clear it, and he just stood still. We were doing so good to get back into this match. And we just blow it all because one player doesn't want to pass the ball. Like, where's my sentiment? Why are my defense backing up? And we took so long to get back to this match. And then in five minutes, we sell it all again. Yeah, they're cooking right through us now. I mean... That was that was bad from Lozano, but does it really matter when we're down by two with zero seconds left? It just kind of is what it is at that point, really. And we got slapped up once again because our team just doesn't know how to close out a game. All right, so here's another game I'm going to simulate. I'm going to do it with the main team this time because they're super unhappy. And they actually pull out a win with Gallo and Balogun scoring. That's actually really impressive, and I didn't think they were going to do it. Hopefully, it makes them slightly less mad, which it does. And we're going to run with pretty much the same exact starting 11 from our last game, except Tanner's coming in at left striker, Van Yarsveld's coming in at left center back, and the Butcher is going to make his debut at goalkeeper. The team looks pretty good. I like it. It's just they suck sometimes, or most of the time, and we just can't keep letting that happen. So let's just get out there and hopefully get a win, because if we don't get a win, I might get sacked in the morning. I don't want that to happen. And here we are for that match against Crew Alexandria, who weren't the greatest team, but we've been slapped up by much worse oppositions. Eh, wow. In the Butcher's first game, such a light little strike from outside the box in the ninth minute just goes right past him. It's not looking good for him in the future right now. It's a great save by the Butcher. Oh my god. Nothing the Butcher can do there, but what is my player doing right here? Who is this? Oh, please don't be just so... No, nope. it's Van Yarsveld. And that's my center back getting tackled like that. That's horrific. What is this? That's a great save from the Butcher, though. Here we go. Just have a strike. It was a good one. Just a better save from Booth. What is that? Good save from the Butcher, though. And they score that one. Really, the Butcher should have saved. But should I really even care at this point? We're going to get smacked up every game like this? Like, once your players start becoming good, like 60 overalls and stuff, they play perfectly. I don't even understand how it works, though. And we get just destroyed right there. And that was just a beautiful finish right through Butcher again. You really make Irokose shoot. I mean, he scores, but... That was not a good shot from Irokose. Now we need three more of those in the next 18 minutes to get back into this match. Oh, that's beautiful. Hey, 15 minutes to go, we're only down by two now. We're right back in this. Just need to put our heads down and get, um, keep working. Beautiful. 
Oh, what a save from their goalkeeper. That was like a certain goal, and the goalkeeper somehow got a hand to it. All right, so we ended up losing 4-2, to two, which I'm actually not crazy mad about because we were down 4-0. I changed the tactics a little bit, went a little more attacking, and somehow we scored two, and they weren't that um, aggressive anymore. I feel like our next game's a test. If next game we do bad with my change tactics, there's no hope for this team. But if we do good... You never know. So we got one more game to simulate against Harrogate before we get our scouting reports. Let's see how we do. We got better three to one, but it doesn't matter because the only games that matter are the ones that I play. And now we got monthly scouting reports to see how any good players we can get. And this could be a pretty decent striker right here. And this guy looks pretty bad for Spain. In Estonia, we got this dude who looks great, but he's a sick 15. Him as well, but he's 15. And the one player we get who's 16 looks kind of bad in our last scouting report we get this dude can be a pretty good offensive player i guess i don't i don't know i'm gonna say no to you i'm gonna say yeah to you all right so in the youth academy right now we got some really talented players that i would love to sign up but they're 15. this dude dimitri gallagher Ikel lopez and jordan duggan would all slot perfectly into the starting 11. It's just they're all 15. i'm pretty sure jordan duggan's gonna turn 16 like in two weeks so he can start playing for us pretty soon but the other three, I have no clue. This is the team we're going to run with for the next match. Not too much changes. I think Underwood comes in at left wing back. Our new signing that we got from the Youth Academy, Zinyemba, comes in at right center mid. And Cousins and Inverniz will be playing together up top. Plus, Butcher also comes in. Zinyemba looks like he would be a perfect striker. But I feel like I want to play him center mid this game because we got some tired players on the bench. So then I can throw up the striker next game and hopefully Duggan turns 16 by then so we can put him in center mid. But I'm going to stop waffling. Let's just get into that match. All right. And here we are for that match against Walsall United. We kind of have a soft spot for Walsall because I made a whole career mode on them and won the Champions League with them. But that does not matter now because I'm just trying to get a win this episode. Oh, Zinyamba. Oh, it's beautiful, Zinyamba. Rigor. What a goal. And within 15 minutes... We go ahead and take that lead from pretty sure the first time this episode. Lovemore Zinyamba kind of just got the ball to bounce back to him, luckily. And that ball is beautiful. It doesn't even look like he's looking in that direction, but somehow finds the pass. And all Grigor has to do is slot it in the back of the net. And we've been dominant early on. We just need to keep this going. So, I don't really know how he got through there, but he did. And they equalize right around the half hour mark. Great. And Vernizzi, that's beautiful in Vernizzi. Oh, is he going to show him the inside? Yes, he does. In Vernizzi, 2-1. to one. Just as quickly as we lost the lead, we regain it. And in Vernizzi, went on a crazy run, just out-muscling his defender. And then, that's not an easy finish either. But he puts it in, and that was beautiful by him. Underwood, where are you going? And of course, I own the track back. That is extremely poor defending all around. Oh, beautiful. Boogie in behind. That is such a nice finish. And both our 40 overall strikers have scored this game. That was the pass I was trying to do last time with Underwood, and it didn't quite come off. But this time, it was just beautiful from Tetsu, who's not really known for passing, but finds in Boogie in behind, who... It slots by that goalkeeper, and we reclaim that lead. And with how poorly we played the rest of this episode, I'm actually extremely surprised with this result. Oh, Rigor, how did he not hit the target? It's great. That's even better, though. What a save from the Butcher. Let's play it right through the middle. Boogie. That could be game. With five minutes to go, Boogie doubles our lead, and... I don't know what the celebration is. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. But he doubled the lead. And we are dismantling Walsall's defense right now. I think that's going to be game. We end up beating Walsall United by the scoreline of 4-2. to two. I'm pretty certain this is the first game that we've won by more than one. But it's also only the third game that I've won this season. The team played splendid together. And I have no clue how the offense did so well. Boogie just kept finding himself open. Inverniezy was making his own chances. These low-rated strikers are actually extremely good. If we can keep up this pace, I don't see a reason why we don't win this next match. All right, so we got a match against Newport County, which I would also like to play, but I got to get through the rest of this month. So when I simulate it, we'll end up losing 2-0 to 
to Newport because Evans, their striker, scores a brace. I'm not surprised, but it's a shame. Now we're going to simulate the next match against four screen Rovers. And we go ahead and actually come out of it with a 2-1 win with Inverneasy and Zinyamba scoring. All right, so here we got more monthly scouting reports about halfway through December. And what can we get from them? This dude looks pretty good, but the rest look kind of trash. In Papua New Guinea, we get nobody. I really wanted someone good from here, but we just don't. Well, I'll sign him up just because. But we really don't get anyone good. And in the last country, Chile, we get also nobody. These guys both look kind of bad. I'll sign him up, but they both look kind of bad. So here we got a match against Doncaster Rovers. And we're going to go ahead and throw out the main team. Because we're trying to pick up some big points against them, which we do not. Because we ended up losing 2-1. to one. Well, we were close in it. That's all that matters, though. I mean, a win would have mattered more, but, you know. All right, now we got to simulate a game against top of the table, Wrexham. And hopefully we don't get blown out. We only lose 2-1 to one to an 86th minute winner. See, that one result I'm happy about because we kept it close against the top of the table team. For the last game of the episode, I'm going to run with probably our best starting 11 with two new faces in it. Belgian finally became 16, and with 71 passing, he slots right into the center midfield, which pushes Lovemores and Yamba up to striker. The player I got from Bosnia, his name got changed to Ibrasimovic, and he looks outstanding with that dribbling. I just don't think Ibrasimovic can take either of our strikers' spots or the midfielders, so I'm going to relegate him to right back like Underwood, but if he proves himself useful, he might push himself up. All right, so here we are for that last match of the episode against Tranmere Rovers. Balogun completely turns their defense. And somehow, the goalkeeper saves that. Gallo all the way across. This is nice stuff. This is beautiful stuff. Balogun, Impine, played on the ground. Off the post. Falls right to love Morzing Yamba. And he grabs his first goal for the club. And we claim that extremely early lead. And that's twice this game already he's gone in behind like that. Couldn't finish either chance, but that one falls kindly to love more. And we take the lead right off the jump. Oh, that's not good at all. And within three minutes of us scoring, they equalize. What is that? That is so BS. They're using skill moves that are like... I don't think that was even a skill move. I have no clue what he did with the ball at his feet, but avoided that um, Gallo tackle, and they go ahead and take that lead in a game that I really feel like we were dominating for the first 15. Such a good cross as well, but I don't know where on... Oh, okay, there we go. Good stuff, love more. That's his second goal of the day, and for the club, and we're equalized at two. Love more Zinyamba. And that completes the hat trick. What a goal that is. Gets the ball, turns his defender, and just smacks it into that far right corner. He, he looked okay as a center mid when we played him there, but he is really coming alive as striker. Get Ibrasimovic gone. Let him go. Ibrasimovic. I'll play it across. That's Balogun. There's no way McGee saved it from that close. That's a crazy save. Good on him. Oh, the Souza. And De Souza makes it 4-2. to two. And we are running away with this game somehow. See, that's a great cross. Grigor just cannot get it on target. No, no. I almost completely destroyed it off. What was all you doing? Oh, we gotta watch the replay. I kind of looked up because I was trying to hit the pass button. And then, right here, hit Pat. He let go of the ball. And we let Tranmere Rovers back to the game. Is Lyun... Just let go of the ball. Oh, love more. Wouldn't you know? Love more Zinyamba makes it five to three, and that's a fourth on the day for him. Like nice little couple passes. We found in Love more who can just turn his defender again, and then places it in that bottom corner. That's perfect. Yeah, that's beautiful. And right after they score, we score, and then they score, in about a span of ten. I think eight minutes, and we just cannot pull away from them right now. No. No. Ow. Get it out, Gallo. She didn't clear the ball. And then in the last second, they tie it at five. And Love Wars and Yamba's four goals are for naught because we just can't hold on to the win. If Gallo just cleared the ball, we won. But he didn't. That's such a shame. All right, so the first of January just hit. 
which means we got quite a few players leaving. Like Butler leaves on loan, Abuchi leaves on loan, Cooper on loan, Medina on loan, Berg and Bennett both depart just on their own. And our squad size is cut by quite a bit with that. Plus we got scouting reports, so let's go ahead and check them out. We got this dude who looks really good, but wouldn't you know, he's 15. In Saudi Arabia, we got this dude who looks all right. And then the dude kind of looks trash. And in Gibraltar, we got this absolute... There's no way. We finally got a cracked player, and he's from Gibraltar. That's sick. So that one Gibraltar player I signed up is now named Adrian Mascarenas, and he is insane with these stats. He might be the best player on our team by far. Play, and look at these play styles. He's going to be perfect in the midfield. I might as well mention I gave Duggan three play styles that fit him perfectly. Gallo two play styles. Tetsu three play styles. And Underwood won. I feel like these players already kind of do these things. But I feel like having the play style just proves it further. And yeah, I think that's going to do it for the episode. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.